using effects in InDesign. Now in InDesign, in one of the videos, we showed you the blending mode with the effects panel. If you don't have the effects panel, just go to window and click effects. This is here, control shift F10. And in the effects, we have different effects that we can use uh, in InDesign, quite similar to Photoshop. Uh, if you click on the FX, add an object effect to the selected target and click drop shadow, for example. It will open the panel with all the effects. Make sure you have the preview on and that will show you a preview for the drop shadow. For example, size of the shadow, direction, opacity. We have a drop shadow, inner shadow that will be inside an image. You can select both, but make sure it's not too much in your design. So if we kept the inner shadow, that's fine. You can use also basic feather or directional feather. If it's a basic feather, we'll create a feather around the image. And if it's a directional feather, you can decide the direction will be on the top. Bottom, you can type 20 millimeter from the top. That's good if you have a title and you want to kind of create a feather and apply it to the top or left. So at directional feather, we have glow as well, similar to inner shadow, we'll just glow, bevel emboss, create some kind of a inner bevel, outer bevel effect. When you click OK, the effects apply to that image. That means that each time you want to change the effect, you can click on the image, go back to the effects and select one of them. So if it's inner shadow, let's just get rid of it or direction and click OK. And it's really just to experiment with the effects on your document. Make sure it's not too much. If you want to add a light drop shadow to an image, just to give it some more. Or maybe a feather to a background image. That will be under the effects panel together with the blending modes and the opacity that we did. The window effects and also the shortcut will be from the properties. Now you can see that there is an effect applied on this image. If you select it, you will see it in the properties panel, drop shadow, and it will show you click to edit. So you just one click and you can add in a drop shadow. That was the effects panel with effects in InDesign.